Every time I've spoken publicly, someone's come up to me and said, thanks for sharing your story, here's mine. And sometimes that's the first time they're telling that story. And that's why I do it. I'm hoping that I can reach one more veteran. I'm hoping I can reach one more family member who knows that veteran to, to get them out. For those of you that have the point, you know the war doesn't end when you get back. It doesn't stop. We actually have to, you know, we've got these inner battles with us. Whether it be if you saw something, if you didn't, guilt for those of us that, you know, didn't actually get to shoot the rifle back at the enemy. We didn't actually get our part. We didn't actually fight the war. I started Vets Lives Matter as a way for the transition to be easier. Um, so we focus on education and employment of veterans. That was uh, my buddy Dan's biggest issue. This is my brother, you know, my best friend. When I got my orders for deployment, he was there to train me up and not only prepare me for what the physical side of it, you're training the Marines we're going to give you, but your mental aspect, uh, the side of it that you don't really prep for. So I was out in Hawaii inspecting another unit. It was my birthday and I turned 24 out there. In the morning I got a message, it was from Daniel, and said, you're the best friend I've ever had. Happy birthday. And that's the last thing that he ever said to anyone. He took his own life that day. So that's why I've started this organization to move forward. All right, I don't want anyone to ever be in my shoes where you lose your brother because they're so scared to move on. Moving forward is the best step you can take. I know we all have these battles inside, all right? I know we all think about it, especially like I know, I know everyone has had that thought. All right, it takes a man to admit it, and it takes a, a grown human to admit it, but admit it, ask for help. There's help out there. We all care for you, all right? This is why we're all here. This is our mission. We want in the next 10 years to rewrite the transition program for all branches of the service. We want to be in all 50 states working hand in hand with Congress and Senate to enhance veterans' lives. We want to enhance them through education and employment. The message I want to convey is employ veterans, teach them. We're all willing to learn. It's the only way I think we're going to combat homelessness, suicide, alcoholism, addiction. is through gainful employment, people like waking up to go to work.